Alright, so just recently I bought myself a Teffelberger Fimble Saver thing. It's an adjustable cambium saver type deal. And basically I'm trying to get my head around how to use it. So I've isolated a bunch of footage that I had out of my last video of me talking about it and discussing the Thimble Saver itself. So basically, like I say, this is a new concept for me. I'm looking to learn as much about it as I can because I can definitely see major, major benefits in being able to run... Like a not blocked SRS, SRT system, even eventually turning into having a dual line and a, a rescue line and things like that will be will be pretty awesome to learn. So, you know, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get some more stuff about this coming up soon and I'll try and be a bit more consistent uploading videos. Anyways, peace out. Right, so the first thing I've done, I actually got this shot. First guy up here. I'm going to set my thimble saver. I'm going to set it real short because it's going to be acting like a soft 8 in this setting. Machine guy. Well, so this way I'm not just physically directly tied into the dead tree. I'm tied into, yeah, something that's got some life in it. Yeah, there's, there's not a heaps of uh, not heaps of space for error, that's for sure. Yeah, you learn how to do it. Uh, by making errors. <laughs> this end is the larger thimble, that's the smaller thimble. So when you're doing a retrieval, you want to make sure that the tail is going to pull through the bigger one and catch on the smaller one. So this end that I'm climbing on is always my retrieval end, and I'm actually going to set this up so I've got the full length of the 60 meters from that point and so from here I'm going to not block on the small side with an alpine I'm going to set this short rope as my retrieval leg I'm just going to tie this to that with an overhand so now my retrieval leg set Go to um redundancy of this. That, that knot can't come undone. But now when I pull this up, it'll rest snugly on the underside of the union and hold me in the tree. So far this has been actually a really good setup it means I can retrieve my rope even if I go through redirects and I can go through multiple redirects before it becomes an issue of this setup. So in this setting when I'm talking about redirects what I'm mostly referring to is a redirect where you use a natural crush where you just sort of pass your rope and device or drop through yourself with your tail through a fork in a branch and you're using that natural crotch as a redirect and so with this setup you can go through two three potentially even four before it starts becoming too much friction obviously depending on the angles and things and how tight those unions are is going to affect the amount of friction and which is going to create resistance when retrieving so there's all things to keep in mind but that's the benefit and the reasoning behind using the cambium saver not blocked is that it is going to make it super super easy to retrieve once you finish climbing and you can finish climbing without having to go back through multiple redirects to get your rope back. I'm setting it up like this as a soft eight with my climbing rope because I haven't had much luck. Thanks bro, I haven't had much luck setting that thimble saver with my throw balls but yeah because I've been using it's so fucking frustrating out the other day at that job where we had all those little trees I was trying oh, yeah. to I was trying to set this thing from the ground but because these Harrison rockets have got like a sharp edge here oh, yeah. it catches in the thimble saver and the ball won't drop down so you can pull the rope up through the fucking thimble saver 
So you've got to use like a notch or something similar that's got like a round circle attachment point. It's a hard plastic one or not. So, I'm not going to lie, I don't really like that point, those moves a lot. I need to think about how I'm going to use probably this point here, just to climb on that. But I think I'm going to reset this a bit lower down, maybe just here where that dead stub is. Still don't really like that angle to be honest. Or at least it's back loaded, I guess. So there's another benefit really of using this in this configuration where you use a separate rope for your retrieval leg because now when I want to reset it because it's a closed closed cambium device it doesn't have openable attachments and so by reducing the length of rope you've got out to make this set up the quicker and easier it is to untie and reset so just undo that knot. And now I just gotta I'll probably just do a little my line here so I don't lose that end of my climbing line. There we go. So when I reset this I'm gonna set it more in a cambium saver style. basically want to go from big through to small get it I kind of like them to be pretty much touching So from here we go, we pull this, set that, make that redundant, and then with this end, tie it back off, because that's your retrieval leg, just use an overhand on these, holds solid enough. Now we have a nice not blocked SRT system. So the only problem now is I've got 60 meters of rope to feed through redirects and deal with.
Okay, so from that point, I should feel a little bit more confident sparking up into there. At least if I fucking come off, I'm just going into the roof. Alright, I'm throwing a rope over. So yeah, I just got to come down over the backside, so just try to not lose the rope. So for this bit, I'm introducing a bunch of extra slack before setting in this retrievable redirect just so that I can rig these two branches either side of it over the top of my climbing line. So I'm just resetting this redirect just here to make it a little bit easier to work out on that. Nice one, Jazz! Thanks, Clint. Shame you still another whole tree, do you? Yeah, I know. So the only problem with what I've got set up now is clean is I've got to do it in a very specific set direction. So basically I'm able to go through as many redirects as I want and still be able to pull the rope out. You can feel this, there's like no, no friction because I'm going through like a cambium saver up the top. And so basically I just make sure that my climbing tail that I'm climbing off is the end that I've got to stick this onto my retrieval ball yeah. and so as long as I just constantly make sure I keep moving it in the same direction I sort of can't fuck it up you know what I mean so I'm just this is still only like the third time I've actually set it up in a tree and used it but so basically I did it that way so I had that full 60 meters of rope available to go down over the other side is that tied up in a knot or is it so this is why I'm starting to think about getting spliced eyes again. Because at this moment in time, I'm kind of like reliant on a piece of tape to hold this fucking thing from falling off the end. I like that. What did you do that for? Try and learn how to splice. It's fucking hard on the feet. Yeah, and it's like, it's still, like it no, works. I'm about paying more than what they're telling me in the back. Yeah, and so there's another trick to retrieving it with um, so just gotta unwrap that layer of red tape. Using throw line, but I'm still too scared to get my throw line stuck up in the tree at this stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So I'll just cop pulling it out onto cement and rocks and shit. I don't give a fuck. That's not Kiwi and Savior, is it? Yeah, it's called a thimble saver. <laughs> it's the same principle. Yeah, but it's a, it's adjustable, that one. So I can adjust it for any size tree. Any size limb. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I've actually... I think the biggest problem I've found with it so far is that if I use a Harrison rocket throw line to try and set it the ball doesn't like shoot back down do you just want to choke the ball on, what? on one of the thimbles Didn't I get that back to you? no I'm pretty sure it's like in your hand or in your pocket oh this thing down here yeah I'll just keep it on my rope the bag yeah but I gave you back your cam inside no it's in your pocket fish 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 when will I ever learn? It's not my cambium saver, it's ours, it's com ours. comrade. Alright, we'll grab a throw line and set this next fucking tree up. <laughs> 